Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to my Premier League prediction table for the 2019-2020 season. Um, the long break is nearly over for Premier League football to return it returns this weekend. The transfer window just closed a couple of hours ago. So, you know, you know what happens. I'll try and predict the 20, the 20 uh, teams that are going to finish in the table come this time, May. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the bottom three I've gone with, it might seem quite surprising, but I'll tell you what I put in there. And now you can see them on your screen. Um, Norwich, I don't think Norwich has quite done enough to stay in the Prem. Um, I know a lot of teams suffer, especially first time in asking, um, Brighton, Huddersfield and Newcastle were the first three teams to come up for the Championship and Premier League and actually stay out. I think it's only the second time it's happened, which is why I don't think it's going to happen this season. Um, and that's why I put Norwich in 20th. Um, 19th, I've gone with Newcastle. I put Newcastle there purely because of what's going on up there. Um... Now, not that not let be around the bush with Newcastle. Mike Ashley's running the club. The fans ain't happy. Rafael Benitez is gone. Steve Bruce is coming. Um, it's going to take, I think, a lot for the fans, uh, but a lot from Steve Bruce to come um, get the wins and actually make him stay up. But... You know, I do feel for Newcastle fans, and I can see why they're not happy. In 18th, I've gone with Crystal Palace. Now, I can see a lot of you saying Crystal Palace ain't going to finish down there. Let me explain why. Um, they're pre-season. I know you say don't read a lot into pre-season, which is fair enough. But I don't think they picked up one win in pre-season. They've already lost their right back, um, you know, to Man United. So, I think Crystal Palace really are going to struggle this season. Um, but, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. It, now, we go from 17th to 10th. In 17th, I've gone with Sheffield United. I put Sheffield United in there and not in the relegation zone because I think their manager, their team, will push through to the Premier League. I know they've signed a lot of championship players as such, but, you know, let's not beat around the bush with it. Um, I think Sheffield United will just get in there. In 16th, I've gone with Burnley. I don't think Burnley have had a strong enough window to basically do real damage this season. They have got the players to do real damage. Obviously, I signed Jay Rodriguez from West Bromwich Albion. Um, but on the other hand, they have let Peter Crouch go. Um, and, you know, a few of their key players, I think a lot of it will play a key part coming into the new season. In 15th, I've gone with Aston Villa. Now, yet again, Villa was very lucky with me not to put them in that bottom three. I know what Villa are doing, but if they go down, um, they've only got themselves to blame. They basically came up and signed a whole new squad for, um, you know, for this season. I don't think it's going to work, but I still think they're going to survive. In 14th, I've gone with Brighton. Brighton, Saki Chris Hewton, um, you know, got a new manager in charge. What I've seen of Brighton, now are a very tacky team this season. But I think 14th will be above, be, you know, how far away can go. Um, any higher up for Brighton, I'd call it an achievement. In 13th, I've gone with Southampton. Now, Southampton, yet yeah, again, let, let a few of their key players go. I think a lot of them will be happy with 13th. I know 
they survived quite um, strongly last season. Uh, but I think 13th, that would just be about right for Southampton. In 12th, now West Southfield, you're going to go while we down there. I've gone with Wolverhampton. Why have I put Wolverhampton in 12th? Now, before you all try and start, you know, putting all your comments in, let me explain why I put you in 12th. What I've seen, and this is what I basically have to go on, um, what all of us have to go on really, uh, including our thoughts. I have not seen a team at a Leicester or Burnley play European football. Um, Leicester is a bit different than the Champions League, but Burnley qualified for Europe and nearly failed to stay in the Premier League. It's nothing to do with your team quality as much. It's more likely to do with playing Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, and for that to get into your players, your players will get tired very quickly. I don't think you're strengthened enough in this window. So I think you should be happy with 12th. If not, obviously put it down in the comments below where you think you're going to finish. But I think 12th will be a bit right. If you can, if you can get into Europe again this season and prove me wrong, I would love to see it. Um, I love to be proved wrong from time to time. Um, in 11th, come with Bournemouth. Bournemouth are a top 10 team most of the time. Um, but yet again, I don't think they've done enough. Obviously, they signed Harry Wilson from Liverpool. Great signing for Bournemouth. But where do you go with Bournemouth now? I mean, everyone... From Bournemouth situation, you start looking at European football, but they just don't seem to get that pedigree. So, 11th, I think Bournemouth, you Bournemouth fans should be quite happy with that. I don't think you're going to struggle, but I don't think you'll, I think you're just going to miss out in the top 10. In 10th, I've gone with Watford. Now, Watford came on dark horses very quickly from last season. Um, signed Danny Welbeck. Um, but I think Watford will finish in the, in the top 10. I'm expecting to come out, out the blocks very quickly yet again. Um, let's not knock that. I only lost 1 0 to Arsenal at home last season as well. I uh, think Troy Dean got sent off in the 10th minute and they did have their chance to win and draw that game. Now we go from 9th to 5th. In 9th I've gone with West Ham. Now I did say to you, if you watch my Premier League predictions, which is returning tomorrow, um, I will put West Ham higher up in my prediction table because they are proving me wrong. They, I said, um, I can't remember the exact words, but I said they will go higher up. But they do need to meet my expectations. Um, ninth, I think West Ham fans will be happy with it anyway. But, you know, it's a long season. Um, but ninth, I'm that's what I was expecting West Ham to finish with while I put them there. The next one is Leicester. Um, sorry, in eighth is Leicester, I should say. Um, Brendan Rodgers doing okay at Leicester, um, but getting over their struggles, um, you know, the likes of Fardy, Harry Maguire's gone to United, that could be a big gap to fill, um, but yet again, Leicester could actually sit down if they don't hit the ground running. In seventh, now this is probably the most shocking to you, um, I've gone with Arsenal. Now, yeah, again, Arsenal fans probably start shooting down my throat. Let me explain my uh, situation, why I put you in seventh. The players you've let go, Danny Wildbeck, uh, Ramsey, I don't think you've got the quality back with your transfers. Your defence is, you know, you're looking for a couple of defenders. Um, but 
you know, where where I, w I won't even put you in sixth. I think you're going to have a really dodgy season. I know where your problems are, but till you get them sorted, you're going to be in between that seventh and sixth gap, possibly until I actually do see some improvement of Arsenal. Um, in sixth, now it's a, probably a bigger shock. I've gone with Everton. Everton are looking to slowly make that gap forward towards Europe, which will put them there, and I think they will just do about sixth. So f here we go from fifth to second. I oh, know, sorry, fifth first, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've gone with Man United. Um, I'm expecting them to finish outside Champions League places again this season, but. Can Solskjaer work his magic and get into that top four? I don't think so. But I think Man United fans. And it all goes with Man United about Paul Pogba as well. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting season for Manchester United. Now from fourth to second. Um, in fourth, I've gone with Chelsea. I'm expecting Chelsea to qualify for Champions League football again. Uh, Frank Lampard in charge. Excellent job at, he did at Derby last season. Just hope he can equalise it at Chelsea with their transfer band as well. Um, in third, I've gone with Spurs. Uh, Spurs new stadium looks great. Um, now this is yet again. You do have to keep on keeping that bracket, and you know to keep. Your manager, your manager has already said if he wins the Champions League with you, he will leave. So, you know, that's going to be an interesting if you do win the Champions League, for example, or, you know, win something and see if your manager stays. That would be your chance uh, period. Um, and second, I've gone with Liverpool. Why have I put Liverpool in second? Um... Surely because I don't think you get first again. I hate to say it, but Man City, you know, ain't done that much business, but I think they will do enough. Um, obviously, you can tell we've got to put top anyway, but um, but Liverpool, I just think I'm going to miss out on it again. And in first, I've gone with Manchester City. Um, as I said. Ain't done a lot during this window, but they are a strong team, none of the wiser. Um, beating Liverpool in the uh, Community Shield and possibly looking for things that sit a Premier League title. So, but anyway, guys, this is my prediction table for the Premier League 2019 2020 season. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.